Hi, I'm Larry Zanoff, and today we're standing in the Western Vault of the ISS Weapons Department. And one of the common myths in Hollywood, especially when it comes to guns, is that Hollywood armorers, they don't know what they're talking about. They always have six shooters that are shooting seven rounds, and they have the wrong guns for the time period. And in fact, we do know what we're talking about. We have very skilled people here in the industry, both gunsmiths and armorers out on set. Most of them have military or law enforcement backgrounds. In this department alone, we've got uh, U.S. Army, we've got U.S. Marine Corps, and we've got Israeli IDF. So these are people who actually have used guns for real in the real world, and we really do know what we're talking about. So when you see all those little kind of faux pas in the movie, chances are they were put in there because of a story point. And here's a perfect example. This right here is the gun that Schultz uses in the movie Django Unchained. He's got a little wrist gag where it pops out of his sleeve. And uh, when we start working on movies, uh, we do normally what's called a show and tell. We go down to the director, in this case, Quentin Tarantino, and we lay out all the guns and we pick out, you know, oh, we like that gun for Django and we want this one for Schultz. And he had specifically asked for this gun. So I brought it down to the show and tell. Now, Tarantino is a very talented movie maker. Uh, and in the script, he named some of the guns that he wanted. And this, of course, was one of them. And I felt the need to point out to him that his script opens up, as does the movie, with the title, Somewhere in Texas in 1858. You know what, as a gun guy, the first thing that jumped into my mind was, this gun wasn't around in 1858. It's a Remington over and under. It didn't come out until 1868. And gosh, what do, what do I do? The director wants it, so of course I bought it down. And I felt my due diligence was to tell him that. So I approached him and explained it to him. And, and again, Tarantino is a very focused filmmaker. He knows exactly what he wants, and he has good reasoning behind it. And uh, he, he thanked me for pointing this out to him, but he explained that he was not making a documentary, he was not making history, he was making entertainment. And this was important for him to have it in his wrist gag because, you know, it's the wild, wild west and, you know, all the other maverick and all the other westerns that you're used to, they always have this gun popping out of their sleeve. And so he was doing his classic take on a western, which I think Django Unchained is, is pretty, pretty wild as far as a western goes and a very unique take on it. And so we needed the over and under Remington, even though it's a bit of an anachronism, it really didn't exist in 1858. So there it is, Schultz's gun off of the wrist gag. Hopefully you've seen the movie and hopefully you enjoyed it because that means we did our job and, and Quentin Tarantino did his job as a movie maker. And uh, hopefully you'll join us again next time we dig something out of the vault here at ISS.